On the streets of Aleppo, deadly clashes between Syrian government forces and insurgents. It was Syria's most populated city before the civil war erupted in 2011. Now reduced to rubble in many areas, it has been carved up between government forces and various insurgent groups. Behind the scenes, an apparent buildup of Russian military hardware for the forces of President Bashar al-Assad. Satellite imagery provided by geopolitical intelligence and advisory firm Stratfor purports to show artillery and attack helicopter support at Basal al-Assad airbase in Latakia. A Syrian military source has told Reuters that Syrian government forces recently started using new types of air and ground weapons supplied by Russia, underlining growing Russian support to Damascus that is alarming the United States. In Moscow, they say military support for Damascus is aimed at fighting terrorism and safeguarding Syria's statehood. We are trying to prevent a total catastrophe in the region. Unfortunately, we have examples of the situation in Libya and in other neighboring countries. We understand that if the situation in Syria develops according to the same scenario, it would be a total catastrophe. The U.S. hit back, saying support for the Assad regime is a dead end, and what's needed in Syria is a new government, which represents the will of the people. But like Moscow, Washington says it's open to dialogue. We would warn them against doubling down on their support for the Assad regime. That's a losing bet. It's a losing bet for Russia, it's a losing bet for Syria, uh, and it's a losing bet for our efforts to degrade and ultimately destroy ISIL. Uh, but uh, we do have some of the concerns that you just described, uh, and that's why um, you know, we'll remain open to what I would describe as tactical, practical discussions with the Russians. Meanwhile, amid mounting international tensions, Syria's foreign minister came out to say that there are no Russian troops in his country, but added that Syria will request them if the need arises.